His mates knew him as Bert. To the army, he was Gunner Bertram Oliver Stokes, and he was only 21 when he left New Zealand in 1916. In October the following year, he found himself under heavy fire, hauling guns into position for the New Zealand Field Artillery at the Battle of Passchendaele. We crouched to the earth, and the shell landed only three yards away. The next few minutes I cannot really describe. The shock was so great, the sight too awful. When the smoke had cleared away, there lay four of our boys, dead. Then came the cries of the two wounded. Brown had both legs shattered, and Lieutenant Churnside was simply riddled with wounds. We carried them to the dressing station. We can't imagine how we felt. The shelling didn't cease for another half hour. Shelling, shelling, shelling. It was an appalling sight. The wind and the rain lashing down. The horses screaming and rearing and plunging down into the mud as the shells exploded all around us. It seemed as if every gun Fritz had was trained on this small area. We had to leave the gun and shelter as best we could. Eventually, when the shelling began to tail off, we went back and hooked the horses up to the gun. It was five o'clock in the evening before we got to the new position, and then we tried to start to get the gun in. We only managed to get four guns out of a six-gun battery forward, and most of our other batteries were in the same state or worse, which didn't make the prospects for the morning look too good. We had to put down a heavy bombardment for our infantry going across, and the stunt was due to start at 5.25 in the morning.